What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Looking at a rare tropical storm over here in the Atlantic Ocean. This is Tropical Storm Fiona, only up to letter F, and we're halfway through September in the middle of hurricane season. So a rare tropical storm due to move into the, the South Caribbean here in just a few hours. Right now it's headed towards Guadalupe. There's a chain of islands down here in the Southern Caribbean Sea, and they're getting ready to take on some very heavy rain. According to the forecast model, some of these rainfall totals could be record setting. We're gonna come back and take a look at the direction of this storm what it's dealing with right now. In fact, you can see the elephant in the room here, this big glob of dry air. Somehow or another, this storm has managed to squeeze quite a bit of moisture out of the air, and it looks like the majority of that could go over here to Puerto Rico. We're gonna come back and take a closer look at the details surrounding the storm here in just a moment. I mentioned in yesterday's video about another person seeing a mysterious light in the sky during a thunderstorm, and that woman was from British Columbia, and this is just a few days ago. This is the, the third video this week alone. I've seen some sort of a mysterious high-speed white object in the sky. So here's that segment that I talked about yesterday of yet another high-speed object in the sky. Here we go. This one's out of British Columbia. Right there, you're going to see it fall from the sky. They said it went back behind the mountains there. At first, they thought maybe it was a fireball or some sort of space debris because it was moving so fast. They did see it. It didn't just show up in the camera they saw that object fall from the sky much like what i showed you guys in yesterday's video another white mysterious object in the sky during thunderstorms coming over here to the home page of the website today's feature photo sent in by off-grid desert farming incredible photo here that's got a video with it as well of what looks like a perfect eye in the sky by off-grid desert farming you can find their youtube channel link down below in the description box and in fact here is is the video that goes along with that photo. Look at this uh, cloud here. This is uh, toward the eastern part of the sky. It looks like an eyeball. I don't know if you can see it, but that looks like the center of the eye. Uh, it looks like an eye, a big eye looking at us right now. And this was over in Palmdale, California, just a few days ago. That's Paul. Once again, Paul and Adrian over here at Off Grid Desert Farming. Now, a quick look at the Schumann residence. You can see in the last 24 hours, there's been some activity, some intermittent spikes of energy starting at around the 10 o'clock universal time, lasting for about eight hours. Off and on, pulses of energy showing up in the Schumann Residence. Looking at the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, you can see there's been two major M-class solar flares, an M7 and an M6. Right now, those two are not Earth-directed, but that could change here in the coming days as the Earth-facing side of the sun is starting to get loaded up with active regions. Here's a look at the Sahara sand, and you can see the, the swirling motion of, of Tropical Storm Fiona right down here in the, the Lesser Antilles getting ready to make its way into the South Caribbean. So Guadalupe is taking on rain right now, probably Dominica, Island of St. John's, and this storm's going to move right through the U.S. Virgin Islands up into Puerto Rico. That's what the models are suggesting right now, and we're about 24 hours away from that verifying, so it's probably not going to change too much between now and then because the path is getting closer and closer to verifying. What we're watching, though, is the rainfall total. Some of these rainfall totals could be record setting. We're going to come back and take a look at some of those rainfall totals here in just a moment for Puerto Rico. Quick story out of central China. Uh, a very tall building somehow or another caught on fire today. And you can see here in these dramatic photos the, the tall building, 656 feet tall, was engulfed in flames from top to bottom. Not a whole lot of details about this event right now, but you can find this link down below in the description box at the nypost.com. And I also went over to, to Zoom Earth looking in this region, Changsha, China. It's in central China. And I was looking for possible smoke because that was a, a very large fire looking for smoke up in the sky visible from space over here at zoom.earth. And you can see there was some cloud cover and I didn't see any any smoke pertaining to this particular region right here. That's where the, the tall building was at. I did kind of go through some satellite images, but it was just a little bit too cloudy to see any specific wildfire smoke. But, but once again, Again, a very tall building in a densely populated area of China somehow caught on fire in the last 24 hours. 
Cool photo sent in by Treasure Hunting SWPA. You can also find his YouTube channel linked down below in the description box. Was out hunting for rare coins or jewelry with his metal detector when the sky put on quite a show. And he sent in this photo from the, the southwestern Pennsylvania sky. Big shadow beam spanning out across the sky, possibly reaching from horizon to horizon. Once again, that was sent in by Treasure Hunting SW. PA. I want to take you guys now back to rare tropical storm Fiona, soon to be Hurricane Fiona. And this storm is supposed to go up through the Bahamas, uh, quite possibly along the east coast of the United States. Uh, potential landfall, it depends on what computer model you look at. But I think for the most part, it's going to stay offshore, with the exception of making landfall down here in some of these islands, especially Puerto Rico. And some of the rainfall totals that you're about to see here are quite remarkable. In fact, some of these rainfall totals, if they verify, will be greater than Hurricane Maria back in 2017. Looking at South Central Puerto Rico, and this is in the next 48 to 72 hours, could see 14.7 inches of rain in South Central Puerto Rico. And that would be from Tropical Storm Fiona. This is just one computer model. This is over at windy.com. Coming over to ventasky.com, same time frame. In the next 72 hours, could see in the neighborhood of 22, 23 inches of rain, 20 inches of rain in that same area. All of this dark burgundy is double digit rainfall totals. And what we saw in this region with regard to Hurricane Maria, when it came through in 2017, of course, it brought a lot of rain and high winds. This storm system is not necessarily going to have the high winds, but it looks like, according to some of these computer models, it could have more rain than Hurricane Maria. So big heads up if you're in Puerto Rico, prepare for flash flooding, heavy rains. This storm is going to be moving rather slowly. You can see right here, it's just going to be south and east of Puerto Rico in 12 hours, moving very slowly to the west-northwest, not making it to the, the coastal area of Puerto Rico for another 36 hours. And then 12 hours after that, the storm will be situated between the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and putting Puerto Rico in that strong right-hand side of the tropical storm, which it could be a hurricane by then. But this side's going to have the majority of the moisture, and it's going to have the majority of the wind. So right now, if this computer model verifies, some areas could see over 20 inches of rain in Puerto Rico. Thanks for the photos, guys. Keep them coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you have any videos you'd like to share that are too large for the email, send Simply come over here to the home page of the website. Find this red tab you see right here. Simply drag and drop your video into that red tab. Please include your first name, location, and the date, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.